and welcome to this new tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to make a cylinder of text. If you're on the Discord, I had announced this like a few weeks ago. And I did record it. And the recording was so bad that I couldn't even edit it. Like I started, I spent like hours on it. And in the end it was so awful and like so bad that yeah, I decided to just redo it. And coincidence, for my birthday, my boyfriend gave me a beautiful microphone and a pop filter. So um, I hope the quality is better now. Please let me know what you think. So anyway, how to make the cylinder? Well, before we make the cylinder, we need our background, which is going to be this girl that we always use. Um, yeah, I'm not original. Also, make sure you have at least three tracks. So we're going to go to project, add title clip, of course, and we're going to write something. In my case, I'm going to write something very original, as usual. And you're going to want to have a, an even number of repetition of your text. If you want it to be like in a cycle, you're going to want an even number. And if it's multiple words, it works. If it's just one sentence, it can work as well, but it's just easier to do uh, this way. Just set everything and create title. So I'm going to put it on the top track and make it a bit shorter because I want it to be faster. Um, so yeah, now we're going to make it move and be round. So first move, transform effect. And we're going to go from left to right, but right now like we can't really move much, so we need to zoom in. If I added no other effects, I would just put 200%, but I will add more effects like alpha shapes and some rotation, so I will zoom only to 175%. And center everything. Then, well, I don't know why I centered, but well, at the very beginning, it will be all the way to the right, and at the end, all the way to the left, but not exactly. So we're just making these small keyframes for now, and we will move them, that's 100% sure. So the next thing we do is add lens correction. So in Canal Live, sadly, you have nothing that makes actual circles. So instead, we're going to use lens correction and try to make it as circularly as possible. It's not perfect, but it's the best I could do. Uh, I'm going to go a bit under like 30, like 28 is good. And then this all the way to the right and this all the way to the right. So it's a little bit circularly. Then I'm going to add... So I'm rotate on shear and I'm gonna rotate in Z. And that is gonna make it a bit more round again. Like if I went all the way like here, it will be even rounder, but it also deforms it, so you have to choose something kind of in between. On here, I think is good. Lastly, we will add alpha shapes. This is because I think the very sides are the worst part. Uh, wait, let me hide the alpha shapes again. So you can think about. I think here is quite circly and here is very um, straight. So I'm going to cut off the sides. And then make sure that these things are at 500. Need to be centered. Very nice. I also want the transition to be at zero, as pretty much usual. And of course, you can see that the black background, we don't want that. What we want is minimum. Uh, it doesn't start at the beginning, so we're going to need to change the keyframes I talked about at the very beginning, these ones. So this is going to go all the way to the right up until we can see the eye. And for the other one, a bit of left until you can see the dash okay i think that's good so let's see what we have i have seen a problem um this keyframe is smooth i want it to be linear make sure that both of your keyframes are linear so we're done with the first part now we need the back part of the cylinder so we're just gonna start by copying and pasting this and putting it under the first one 
And I'm going to hide the top one for a second just so we can see what we're doing. And the first effect we're going to add is Flippo. Uh, you can choose this, but I never know which one I need, so I just add Flippo and then I decide. Um, I put it on top, at the very top, and I know it's in X this And then for the transform, we're going to kind of exchange the keyframes, but like not exactly, but it's going to start on the other side, so like this and end on this side. And so we need to see the beginning of the eye. You could just, I think, copy the numbers of the other one. It's not hard. And also you can see if I add top ones that are just like one over the other and you want the curve to be the other direction. So we're going to go to lens correction and change this to the complement, not the complement. You do 50 minus or 50 plus. So in our case here, it's 72. Oof. And you're also going to see there's a problem when I have both of them is that they meet here, whereas I would like to meet them, them to meet here. So on the transform effect here, I'm going to go up in Y till they meet nice. And it's 609, and so for this first one, I'm also going to go to 609. Beautiful. Now we should have kind of the right movement. Um, one thing I notice, and you might notice as well, is that the um, depth is not really noticeable. So we're going to add a brightness effect. On the but on the back one, so that it's kind of like shadowed, I guess. Um, like don't put it all the way down, of course, but like just a tiny bit, like this. And this is why the second clip is on the bottom because if it were on top, it would go over here, which is not what we want. The last thing we need is to make it go behind the girl, um, and so we need to rotoscope around the girl. So rotoscoping on the bottom text and I'm just gonna put it kind of randomly for now. I can remove this keyframe, go back to the first one. And one thing that is not good is that um it's right on clear whereas I want subtract so that we can see just the outside and not the inside. And a bit more feathering and I probably want this thing to be a bit bigger. Not a lot. I still want to see the beautiful text on it. The last thing you can notice is that it's clearly not over the girl. So we're gonna need um <laughs> we're gonna need composite and transform here. Also another one because we want them to move together, so you're gonna add a composite and transform to this track under it so that they both move together now. You can see um now when I move thing, they both move. Uh it's a bit small, so we're gonna make it a little bigger, that big, good, and put it over her. And if you're not happy with your rotoscoping, you can change it. Uh, you just ba go back here, you can just adjust this a tiny. Then you can go back on your composite and transform and try to follow whatever it is. Because you can see here, she's gonna move. Uh, so up to here, she's not moving too much, so fine. And then here she's going a little to the right, so. Yes, a little to the right. Then. Oh yeah, I forgot something. We made it looping so that we can loop. So we need to copy and paste our clips. So you can just select your clips, copy, paste. Then them back here. Make the composite and transform bigger and we can check that the transition looks okay and honestly i think it's kind of perfect and so we make we need to make sure that it moves with her which was not the case so here And so here we have a cylinder of text 
uh, turning around a girl. Could be around the tree, you know. Get the principle. So I hope you liked it. By the way, once again, tell me what you think of my mic. Um, I'm sorry also I haven't been here for a while. I've been busy with my work. Okay, bye-bye.